Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back. Yes, this is a box on my desk. So, day before yesterday, a couple days ago, someone, Rachel, told me about a really cool planner on Amazon that was $10. So it is, is it Filofax? I've never had one before that I know of. I say that because I'm not sure. So I ordered it. It was $10. Let's see what it comes with. And then I will have the link down below. It's my affiliate link for the same planner system. And it's actually a pretty good size box. I thought I was just getting the cover, but I have a feeling there's more than just the cover in here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. It is like a full-sized real deal planner. I'm really already liking the color. All right, Rachel, thank you. Thank you for finding this and tagging me. I appreciate it. So let's see, celebrating 100 years. It was established in London, London, England. It's got this really pretty plastic cover. Let's go ahead and remove this. Oh, this is super soft. This is like so soft, so smooth. So soft and so smooth, smooth. That's not the song I know. So it's got the snap, really nice. It looks like it's got some room to grow so you can add quite a bit of washi tape and stickers to this without even really opening it. It looks like it's a dated planner organizer. It's the personal size, which, oh look, it's got like a section for your cards in there. That's nice. The protector, you'll pull those out before you start using it. And then we've got a little clear dashboard. This probably comes off quite easily. It does. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm really liking these colors. I need to lay this flat for a sec. I really like these colors. This is really, really pretty. It's got the numbered tabs. I don't know if you could do like months, six months, or are these priorities? Could be anything. Holy cow, it comes with to-do lists. That's nice. Some lined paper as well. Great for note taking. Mm, our grid paper. I have been using this a ton doing the garden stuff. It looks like we've got some blank pages as well. I think I also have a hole punch that is this size that I got randomly one time and didn't know what to do with it. Good thing I saved it, right? Love this color. This is really pretty. More lined paper. Okay. Ooh, look at that color. Like that. I like that a lot. So all of this was ten dollars. Ten doll hairs. A, a nice, a nice pink. Okay. So then we get into the planner. So this is the 2024 week on two pages. This planner belongs to. You. We've got. 24 and 25 months there. Big plans. Oh, cause so this is your future planning. You've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And it looks like it's a very, very faint dot grid. So there's actually no lines or anything. That will be really, really helpful for future planning. You could put anything in here from paydays. If you wanted to use this as like a celebration planner, you could put anniversaries and birthdays in here. You could do bills if you wanted to incorporate this into your budget planner. That would be really pretty. If this is your daily, you know, just your carry around fit in your purse, which I'm going to be honest, I didn't think I would use this. I thought this was going to be smaller. This is actually a really great size to throw in my purse and have all of my wallet in one place. I really like this. Let's see. To do's, special dates, goals, and notes. I wonder if this is specific for each month because this says hello January and it's a dot grid page. So I am imagining the bullet journal part of me really would love to do like a monthly spread on this and make it look super duper pretty and functional. You've got a couple more dot grid pages, a couple of line pages, and then we pop into my favorite layout, which is the horizontal instead of the vertical. So we have our days of the week going this way. It looks like it is dated and then it's the 2024 
We've got a calendar down here, and I've showed you guys before on different planners. You can block this out with a sticker, white it out completely, or just use this bottom here for decorative. You could always use this for notes as well. So I really, really like how this looks. The paper is, it feels toothy, but it also feels super thin. Not, not thin like the Hobonichi, but thin, almost like the composition notebook. So I'm a little worried about ghosting and bleeding, but stay tuned because I am on a plan in this. I really think this is going to work as just a daily carry with me catch-all planner. Okay, so this dashboard is specific for each month. So we've got Hello February. And since I'm not starting this, I'm not gonna backdate this since I'm starting it, I could always redate January, February, March, April, and May, if I started this in June, as a 2025. So I could still use it, but I would just redate it for January, February, March, April, May as 2025 when it comes closer, so as to not waste any paper, but not spend so much time back dating and back planning. I'm really not a back planner. If I leave a page blank, it's because I, one, either wasn't motivated to fill it in, two, my mental health just wasn't willing to let me fill it in, or three, I just got bored with it that week. And all three of those reasons for me are justified, and I don't beat myself over them at all. Beat myself up over them. There you go. So we'll flip through here. I wanna to get to the end. It looks like it's all very, very similar, but I wanna see what is at the end of the, so here's December. It looks like we go to the end of December and then do we have anything for January, 2025? Yes, so we've got, of course, December ends on a Tuesday. So we've got the rest of the week for December and then we do have the first week in January, first full week, perfect. And then it looks like we've got some extra dot grid pages towards the back here. And then some lined pages. I really like that they've incorporated so many blank pages as options. So those are all lined. And then this last page here is holidays and phases of the moon. So that's nice. And then it does look like we have a removable page marker that says the Filofax. And then, ooh, this is buttery smooth. So buttery smooth. This is just a half page pocket. So you could fit probably just about anything you could imagine in there that's that half page size. And then back here, we've got a full pocket. Let me just stick that in there so you know about what size. Let me grab my Coffee Monsters Co. so you can kind of have a comparison since I don't have my ruler. You could probably fit a few Coffee Monsters Co. in there. What I would recommend, because this is a little bit deeper of a pocket, is take some of your washi tape, put it on the top here for like a pull tab so that when you you know go to get your stickers out, you've got those in there. I am tickled blue with this planner. I think I'm gonna break into it later today after I go out and play in the garden for a little bit and do the first week. I'll film it for you guys. If you have one of these planners or you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, $10, that's a really good deal. You guys all know I am out for budget planning and for $10 and these, this is everything that you get for $10, that's a deal. Anyway, I'll link it down below. I hope you have the most amazing day. Stay tuned for this one. I'm excited to break into this and get some paper down on, or get some pen down on the paper. We'll do some pen tests too. I hope you have the very best day. I love you. I'll catch you down in the comments. And Rachel, thank you again for sending this link. I think this is going to be amazing. Bye. Mm -hmm.